Backyard Gore, the short films of gore filth. This is so much fun. Uh, this is a, uh, a 2020 compilation made up of four short films that gore filth made on his own, uh, along with some family and friends. Um, and I don't know how many of you remember me, but going off about El Gore and his snuff tape anthology bullshit. But um, this, although kind of similar with the mannequin debauchery, is a hundred times better than that fucking pile of shit. Um, Snuff Tape Anthology really, really put me off of a lot of films and just made me not even want to check a lot of them out. Um, but then the Swabby and Sawmill Massacre flicks and uh, Sturm Gewehr came out and quickly changed my mind. Um, and then a little while ago, Gore Filth hit me up asking if I'd like a copy of his film and I am so damn glad I said yes this was right up there with Swabby and Sawmill Massacre in uh, respects to how much fun I had with this um, this is a, a still from the first short um, Backyard Gore Torture which is uh, him and his girlfriend chopping up a uh, a pedo that got released early from jail and uh, yeah they weren't having any of that shit so they took matters into their own hands and I like how at the beginning he's like yeah we, uh, we tied him up to a tree and we we filled him full of muscle relaxer drugs so he's just gonna look like a dummy tied to a tree <laughs> go outside and there it is it's a dummy tied to a tree man that shit just cracked me up um, and the girlfriend got tired of waiting for gore filth to come outside so she has already done some chopping to the body you can see a um, bloody stain on the crotch and a cock on the ground uh, some blood on the ankle and stuff like that um, and then they just proceed to chop them up for the next few minutes and that was that uh, then we cut to no not the second one the second one saved for last so we cut to undead gore torturer where and this one deals with uh, more prosthetics getting chopped up and some occult type stuff going on necromancy all that fun stuff um, it's pretty good uh, and the music the music in the the first three shorts was just amazing it was just it's a wicked grind and down pitched nastiness it was just fucking filthy and disgusting and perfect for the visuals that were on the screen um, up next we have Day of the Blood Witch uh, that one was pretty cool um, got uh, fuck what's his name I should know it because it's the same as my buddy's son's name uh, fucking Gabriel uh, young Gabriel outside with a chainsaw and uh ends up chopping himself up in the head just <laughs> uh, and then uh, we have gore filth coming down with a hatchet looking for Gabriel and realizes the kids missing um, and we got a witch in the kitchen and uh, she fucks gore filth up she fucks him up good uh, but not before he can get his last words into her uh, I'm not gonna give it all away feel like I've already said too much about it but bear with me there again 
music top notch uh, this short had some music from a band called um, what the fuck was it it's like shoebox full of sex organs and like aside from anal cunt that is probably my new favorite band name uh, that was just fucking cracking me up uh, and last but not least it was his second filmed short but he saved it for last on here just due to how nasty and depraved it is and that is genital gore birth mutilation I fucking loved the short but I wish it had stuck with the same like down pitched and grind music as the background instead of this fucking noise project that he had going on in there uh, called anal birth again cool name but uh, I can handle a lot of music types and genres and shit, but noise is not one of them, and that was just giving me a fucking headache. Um, but at the same time, I was able to forget about the headache I was getting because the shit that was going on on screen with the baby was fucking gold. I absolutely loved it. Gore filth. I know you said a lot of people didn't want anything to do with that short. And how you know a couple of gore hounds weren't able to finish it. But do me a favor man. Keep up on that style dude. That shit was amazing. And again. Like. I know El Gore. Had. A segment with a, a baby doll getting chopped up and aborted and shit like that but Al Gore's version was fucking trash he, it, it didn't come off well done or anything like that and what Gore filth managed to pull off with a baby doll and some chocolate syrup and he said like he spent a total of like $50 on that short man that was amazing uh, the chocolate actually had a nice kind of reddish hue to it um, the umbilical cord cracked me up but bruh next time you cut umbilical cords make sure you got some sharper scissors man <laughs> but overall I definitely recommend this to uh, to any SOV fans out there um, in fact, while I was watching it, uh, kind of a shameless plug here, but it reminded me a lot of uh, the shit that I filmed in the beginning of 2020 with a buddy for uh, the Black Glove Analog release of Analog Atrocities Volume 1. Um, I did a lot of similar shit for that, as I noticed on here, and... I don't know if it makes me biased or not, but man, I, yeah, I just love this. Um, uh, it's definitely not for the folks out there that are super serious about movies uh, and think they need to be highly polished and shit like that, but fuck, if you're watching me, you're definitely not like that you're you're fine with the fucking low budget stuff and all that goodness well i guess with the exception of us only he loves his polished mainstream horror so i'll give him that <laughs> but um for everyone else that likes true independent horror and films that give zero fucks Head on over to sovhorror.com. Snatch yourself up a copy of this. It's 55 minutes of just pure entertainment. And, like, you can't go wrong. Y'all need this. I'm pretty.
probably going to end up watching this again sometime this week. I absolutely, like I said many times throughout this video already, I fucking loved this. Um, and as far as mannequin debauchery goes, this is right up there with Swabian and uh, Sturm Gewehr. I just kudos score filth. Good fucking job, bruh. And to everyone else, thanks for watching. Stay sleazy. Peace.